Hey, I want to give you this real quick tip on how to uh, fill in the right hand for playing hymns. Now, if you're playing hymns, uh, one thing that you, uh, you want to learn to do is to fill it out. And you may start reading the notes from the hymn book, and that's a fine way, place to start. But uh, you're going to want to start adding to those, uh, you know, to, to what's written there and play more in the right hand, play more in the left hand. And we use these things called fills. And one great right hand fill is uh, an octave run. And uh, one thing that always confused me about an octave run is that it, it doesn't line up if you just play a scale up the piano. If I want to play a scale up the piano to, to lead into a measure, say I start on the third beat to go to the first beat, we're in 4-4 four, four time, I'm going to do them in eighth notes, and I go 3 and 4. Hitting the, I'm not hitting the next beat. I'm, I'm hitting the C early. One and two and three and four and. Or if it's 16th notes, three E and a, four E and a. So how do we get that to line up? Well, one way is you can hold the first note of the scale twice as long as the rest. One, two, E and a. Uh, I'm sorry. One and a. get you there on the B. And so I do that quite often. But another way that's uh, not quite as expected and it uses triplets is to skip the first note in that octave run. So you play the C and then you skip the D and then play here and use triplets. It sound like this. One triplet, two triplets, That hits the C's on the beats. This is a great way to do an octave run up an octave, or even up two octaves, and it works in the left hand as well. Just skip the that next note, skip the B here, don't play the B. You can do the hands together. You can do more than one octave. This is a great way to fill in uh, and use uh, uh, and do an octave run and use triplets. All those things are gonna uh, uh, make make you know, make it, it makes this run stand out. So if we're playing in four four time and we've got those those subdivisions of eighth notes or sixteenth notes and you throw in the triplets, it's just a great contrast. So. Uh, Another thing about this run is that it's uh, you it, you can use it also in three four time, and instead of being triplets in three four, it's actually eighth notes and it lines up. One and two and three and one. One and two and three and one. Same thing in six eight time. If you notice, it's a six note run, and then we get to that next note. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Or um, in six, eight time, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and five and six and one. It lines up perfectly in those cases. Now, you can do this in any case when you want to go up an octave or two octaves. Um, you can start on any, any note in the scale, any, any tone of the chord, and also it works um, right hand or left hand in 3-4 or 4-4 four, four time, just switch from triplets to 8th notes or 16th notes as well. You can use them as 16th um, notes in 6-8 time. Um, and in 4-4 four, four time, use triplets, and uh, this is a great way to to get up and down the piano and add these flashy runs. So let me demonstrate it for you here um, with that Calvary in the key of C.